little bees. Today's story is Charlie Pie Chart and the case of the missing pizza slice. Written by Eric Comstock and Marilyn Sadler. Illustrated by Eric Comstock. It was pizza night at Charlie's house, which meant that he could invite one friend over for dinner. Charlie had four friends, Louis, Henry, Scotty, and Barry. Louis was one-fourth of Charlie's friends, but he was his best friend, so Charlie invited Louis over for pizza night. There were six pizza eaters, Charlie, Louis, Charlie's sisters Kate and Alice, and Charlie's mom and dad. Everyone agreed on the size, large. That meant everyone would get two slices. But no one could agree on the same topping. Cheese, please. Bacon. Veggie. Yuck! No veggies! yelled four-sixths of the pizza eaters and no one wanted anchovies. Author's note, anchovies are tiny little fish and why anyone would want them on their pizza is a mystery that may never be solved. How about pepperoni? All of the pizza eaters liked that decision best, including Charlie's dog, Watson. Warning, whatever you do, don't give pepperoni to Watson. Dad paid the pizza boy and Kate and Alice took the pizza into the kitchen. Mom set the table while Dad poured a grape soda for Louis. The next thing everyone knew, Kate and Alice were screaming. Oh no! One slice is missing! That means one of us won't get two slices. Charlie wondered what happened to the missing piece. He looked for clues, but couldn't find any. It was time to talk to his suspects. Charlie had five. Dad, Mom, Alice, Kate, and Louis. Dad was one-fifth of his suspects, but Dad was in the kitchen with Mom. I was getting Louis a grape soda. Mom didn't take the pizza slice either, so it could have been Louis. There were three suspects left. Lewis was one-third of the remaining suspects. But I was drinking a grape soda in the kitchen. Charlie saw a purple spot on Lewis's shirt. It smelled like grapes, not pepperoni. And it was still wet. Alice and Kate were two out of the two suspects left. Charlie was sure they were in it together. Little sisters were always guilty. To be sure, Charlie had them do the burp test. Then he heard their stomachs growl. Empty! There were no suspects left. Charlie hadn't solved the mystery. But his dad had a solution. I'll eat only one slice, he said. Everyone liked that idea, so they finally sat down to eat before the pizza got cold. Mom shared one half of one of her two slices of pizza with Dad. Mom and Dad each got one and a half pieces. Everyone was finishing their pizza when Watson walked into the kitchen. Hey, what smells funny? Ew! Did you burp? No, it wasn't me. Watson! Charlie knew that Watson had taken the missing slice of pizza. 
and Charlie was 100% certain that it would happen again. For more great stories just like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.